there's axle parts everywhere. So I'm doing my axle swap finally, and I'm going from the stock uh, H14, um, or 14 HU rather, and I'm going to the 15 HU, which is actually in the earlier models. It's the 97 to 95 to 97 as I kind of described in the earlier video when I built it, and that's the one that's got the 8.9 inch ring gear in it, and that's got the eight inch ring gear in it, and it's a lot smaller size. And I'm gonna put some pictures at the end of this to show the differences. I put a tape measure on a couple things, and it's way different in dimensions. This uh, this new axle is considerably bigger here, so um, yeah, but the, uh, the Batwing assembly, or what I've kind of coined the Batwing assembly, um, there's two different options for it. There's one for sway bar links and one without. And if you have the sway bar links, getting these bolts out of here uh, is impossible. They, they actually rust into the rubber and trying to turn them out of there, good luck. I mean, you're probably not going to get it out. But luckily, my new axle came with the new assembly out of the car and all the brackets that I need. Because you've got to switch out the front and lower bracket in order to make the new axle fit. Because there's an offset on the pinion, which you can see this one's pretty well centered. If you can tell. And then this one's got a pretty aggressive offset to it. I don't know how well that shows up, but it is offset though. But anyway, the uh, because of that, you have to replace these two brackets. That's kind of the mandatory part of it. And then you can keep your stock uh, battling assembly if you want, but mine got chowdered up pretty good because my bushings were locked into my struts, or, str or uh, shocks, whatever, but um, so I had to pack them off there. So luckily the new one came with it. And now you can see my wheel lens. These are some other things I'll have to transfer. These actually come apart really nice. I was really surprised. They maybe five minutes of work and they're off. So that's no big deal there. But um, because of the lack of uh, sway bar on the 85, or I'm sorry, 95 to 97 unit, it just had these wings on here, which I've cut off. And I cut off my brackets that were uh, welded onto the assembly that I pulled out of the car. And so now I'm going to go ahead and mock these guys up and uh, weld them on there. So they'll be on there and then I'll continue to build the axle. But here's where I'm at so far. And uh, eh, I might do another update or there might be some pictures. Okay, guys, just a quick update. I am finished mounting the center section and all the bracketry. And I ended up reusing the X308 rear brace. I had to tweak it just slightly but um, just to make a little bit more room around the outside of it because it actually does move back and forth a little bit. So I just wanted, didn't want to get it up there and have to pry it in place and find out a hit. So um, I tweaked it a little tiny bit. I um, got everything mounted like it's supposed to be. And that was a little bit of a pain in the butt because I didn't want to take the um, yoke off because the preload's already set on it and the, the crush collar's already, um, you know, smushed down. So what I ended up doing instead was just cutting open a part of the front frame, uh, bending it back, putting, you know, the yoke through the hole. And then, um, I kind of swedged it back into place and welded it up. So that's, uh, that's good to go. And tomorrow I'll be launching it in to the car and, uh, I'll put the half shafts and all that stuff back in it. But the, uh, the back of it with the sway bar, my little modification I had to do to get that going. Um, it turned out okay. It, uh, everything lines up and the sway bar lines up like it's supposed to. I got it it's drying right now. I just painted it, but in any case, uh, it's definitely doable. And, uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll see how she fits and then I'll start on the drive shaft. So, um, if you guys are interested in doing this, it's not too bad, especially if you just got a 95 to 97 Jaguar XJ six axle and just hammered it in. Um, you can find power lock ones and where they already have the power lock unit in them and to give you limited slip. So, uh, yeah, not a bad mod. And, uh, obviously, um, the car is running now, so I'm going to do an update video very soon on the um, car itself when it's running, and I'll probably do some um, information on the HP tuners and tuning it itself. So anyway, that's it for tonight, and um, tomorrow I'll have it in. Okay, yesterday is today, and amid a power outage, my buddy Jeremy and I um, got the axle up in the uh, into the car, and... Yeah, I ended up putting new Bilstein shocks on it, just stock replacements for the sport model. And uh, it uh, this is the 95, the 97, and the uh, pickup points line up fine for the if you use the 97, 95 to 97 
uh, lower and front brace that all fits just fine. And then the rear brace, the uh, 98 to 2003, the X308 version uh, is a lot stronger uh, than the earlier version just uses this bar as a support bar uh, without any of the, the gusseting or the uh, loop. And so the, the newer style is a lot stronger. And then, like I said, in the earlier part of this video, I, uh, I ended up welding the sway bar brackets on to this uh, lower receiver piece, whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, everything fits good. My fuel line's clear nicely, which is pretty great because I was concerned about that. And uh, so the new fuel system is going to work out okay. And uh, so the next big thing will be getting the drive shaft all hooked up to that new style joint. Obviously, I got the, the GM um, 4080 in this because it's an LS swap car. And they, um, the drive shaft I have is just out of a Silverado and it's missing the end caps because I bought it in a junkyard. But And actually, somebody had already pulled the rear end out of it when I got it, so it was like just laying on the ground. But uh it's a it's a four-wheel drive silverado six six foot bed or six and a half foot bed or whatever and it's not that much longer than it needs to be so i'm thinking what i'll probably do is just use this to get my measurements going center line to center line on the u-joint and then uh i'll have a drive shaft made for it and this is a three and a half inch drive shaft and actually it fits up into the well uh no problem so i'm pretty happy about that i'm gonna probably cut this one down and do mock-up on it um just so that i can see um so i can guarantee that it's going to fit through that area where the little loop used to be and um or the uh, actually i think that was the parking brake bracket that was there but in any case i'm going to double check the fitment of all that and uh, make sure it's good to go so anyway she's up in the air i gotta put the uh the wheel lines on it still which are the hubs which are sitting there ready to go and uh yeah i'll uh i'll be good to go and hopefully this thing will be on the road in a couple days here okay Got the uh, brakes and half shafts on. And uh, I do have Corvette rear brakes for this, but I'm not going to put them on yet because I'm trying to get the car together um, for the Woodward Dream Cruise, which is coming up in my area. And uh, so I uh, routed the exhaust, got that all kind of figured out. It's not nothing's pinned up yet, but it's just sitting in there right now. Uh, I just figured get that in before I try to put the axle shafts in so I had room to move around. And then um, got the axles in and obviously all the... The uh, new gears in with the struts and whatnot, so that's in, and the uh, the axle's done. And then eventually, when I get some more time, I'll go ahead and upgrade it to the uh, upgrade the rear ones to Corvette as well. And these are getting kind of rusty. I'll probably turn these guys before the weekend, but anyway, uh, yeah, it's done, and uh, it's, uh, I'm excited to see what kind of improvement um, it makes. I mean, the gears a 321 gear compared to a 308, so I'm gonna get a little more off the line, and you can get all the way up to. 456s i think in the data 44 so it's a nice axle swap if you want to run a higher gear and uh, actually i still have that power lock available for 392 gears and up so if anybody wants that let me know but she's in and i'm uh, i'm happy about it